Quadcopter brothers and sisters, how y'all doing? Well, since you clicked on this video, that means you're interested in learning about how to expand the storage of your Parrot Bebop or your Parrot Bebop 2. So this is the video for you. I found a way to expand the internal memory, which in my opinion makes a really, really good drone even better. So let's get right into this. Let's first go through everything that you're going to need uh, for this job. Obviously, you're going to need your drone. I have the Bebop 2. Then you're going to need an OTG flash drive. Okay, this is the one that I've chosen to get. It is a Kingston. It's a 32 gigabyte. Um, I'll put links in the description of everything I'm using here. Uh, so you'll, you'll be able to see exactly which one I'm using. I think this one was about 12 bucks or something like that. 32 gigs. I think it's sufficient for my purposes. Okay, so you'll need that. And finally, you'll need uh, your laptop or your desktop computer. Okay, so you'll need to go out to this website here. This is GitHub. Uh, I'm going to put up the link in the description box. The post is called Bebop 2 Copy Move Record 2 USB Drive. And it's by a guy uh, whose username is Daggers. So I want to definitely give him credit. I actually found this on the Parrot community forum. Uh, so Daggers, uh, we appreciate uh, all the effort and work that you've done on this. Really, really appreciate it. All right, so here's all the files you're going to need. Okay, uh, the first thing you want to do is is read through the README, and it's actually right down here. It's going to tell you all the firmwares that uh, Daggers has tested this on. Okay, and it's also going to show you or tell you how to install the scripts. Uh, so basically, read through that. I'm going to show you right here, but. Um, good idea to read through this on your own as well. So the first thing you want to do here is download the executable file. So you're going to download this file here. Now it's going to take you to this page. It's going to show um, this little error message here. Just click on view raw and then you'll start to download the file that you need. Okay, so just go locate the file and open it up. Now, you're going to get this uh, command window here, and it's basically going to walk you through everything you need to do. It's giving you five different options. We're ob obviously going to be using option number one here today. But if you want to remove this at a later time, remove these scripts, you can do it from here. You can format your USB drive or your OTG drive, uh, so on and so forth. Okay, but we're going to go ahead and hit one here, okay, to install scripts. And just a quick parenthetical insertion. Um, with that said about formatting, make sure you go ahead and format your OTG flash drive before you get started with this. Format it to uh, FAT32, um, just to make sure there aren't any issues. Okay, so what you see here is it's telling you exactly what to do. It's saying turn on your drone. So let's turn on the drone. Now I've already done this, so I'm not going to go through all the entire process uh, because it actually won't allow me to since it's already done. But um, I'm going to get you started here and you just keep going. So now what it's telling us to do is, is to connect to the, um, the drone's Wi-Fi through Windows. So you're going to go to your Wi-Fi connections. <clears throat> uh, you're going to find the Bebop 2 Wi-Fi and go ahead and connect to it. And I'm actually going to cancel out of that. But go to your Wi-Fi um, uh, settings, locate the Bebop or a Bebop 2 Wi-Fi signal and go ahead and connect to it. Once you're connected, again, you're going to hit any key and you're going to move forward. Okay, now it's telling you to press the power button four times on the drone. So you would just come here press the power button four times, one, two, three, four. Then you'd hit continue. I'm not gonna do it again. And now, as you can see, it starts to copy the files to the drone. It's not gonna complete here, because again, I'm not going through the entire process. Go ahead and just follow the prompts. It's very, very simple. It'll walk you right through. Once it tells you that the installation has been completed, go ahead and power down your Bebop, okay? Now it's time to test it out. <laughs> Okay, now if you choose to get the Kingston, you're going to need to, um, or I recommend that you go ahead and take this plastic cover off. Um, real easy to take off. Just go ahead and remove that uh, because um, you don't want it hanging down. It actually hangs down like this 
and it'll cover up the power button so you don't want that get rid of that all right so at this point what you want to do is just put your OTG uh, flash drive in the micro USB port there on your drone okay and then you're just going to power on just like normal Okay, now go back to that uh, website, that GitHub site. Go back there, okay, and this time you're gonna click on the how-to text file. Okay, and this is giving you basically uh, directions after you've installed the script. It's giving you directions on, on things you can do. So as you can see, um, there's a few different options that you have. You can copy files from the internal memory to your uh, 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 OTG drive or you can just completely move them you can delete um, previously copied files from the internal memory uh, you can change right here this is a great option you can change the recording location to your USB your um, OTG drive altogether so what that means is you could essentially leave this plugged in during flight and instead of recording to the internal memory the drone will record the flight uh, or the videos and pictures right to this drive. So in my case, I would have 32 gigs at my disposal and I wouldn't have to worry about that. Now I've chosen to go ahead and uh, use this first option here, which is to copy the media files. So basically what that means is after I've flown, I've gotten my footage, I'm landing, I'm changing the battery out, I'm doing my, I'm checking my probs and doing all that. And at that time, I'm gonna go ahead and initiate the process to copy the files from the internal memory to my OTG flash drive. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. Um, so it's saying press the power button five times. Okay, before I initiate that, I'm gonna get my phone set up to time this uh, because one of the other important things for me is when I'm out in the field flying, I don't wanna wait a, you know, a whole half hour or longer or however it might take to wait on files to transfer before I can get back in the air. So I've done this before uh, and it was about 10 minutes. That's about seven gigabytes. So that's a full file of flying. So that's pretty much maxed out. So 10 minutes to do that. And so let's go ahead and get this ready to go. I'm gonna come over here and push the power button five times. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna start the timer. You're gonna hear that beeping sound. Um, it's the same sound you hear when you power on. You're gonna keep hearing that every 15 to 20 seconds or so. That's how you know it's, it's working, it's copying. Okay, now when, it, when it's done, the way you know it is finished is you're gonna hear some uh, distinct beeping sounds. And let me show you this. So if you look here, it's telling you you're gonna hear one of three alarms. And again, it's a beeping sound. It's, it's distinct from what you're hearing right now. Uh, so if you hear one alarm, that means there was nothing there to copy or move. If you hear two alarms, which is what you want, that means it completed successfully. So everything moved over or copied over uh, without any errors. And then if you hear five beeps, five alarms, then that means there was a problem with the transfer. So something went wrong. And it kind of gives you some troubleshooting things down here. Okay, so we're gonna just let this run. I'll go ahead and speed up the video here now so you're not uh, just waiting, watching this. And then we'll come back and talk about uh, what we're seeing here. And maybe I'll even go into my uh, laptop and show you uh, that the files did transfer successfully. All right, so I'll be back. Okay, so as you can see, we had a flash from the LED on the power button, and there were two beeps, and they were pretty distinctive beeps. 
Uh, timer reads 11 minutes and 40 seconds. So a little bit longer than uh, the first time I tried this. Uh, but I think I can live with that. Um, after a flight, I'm out in the field. Maybe I take a little break. Maybe I take another little drone with me and fly it around while I'm waiting on this to download and then I get back in the air. Um, but uh, trying to transfer it directly to the phone, I found, uh, you know what, let's test it. That's what we'll do. What I'm gonna do next, I'm going to test how long it takes to actually transfer directly to the phone. Uh, and not to the OTG flash drive. And let's compare the times, okay? But first, before we do that, I'm gonna go back into the uh, computer here and show you that the files did transfer, so hang on. Okay, so the great thing about these little OTG flash drives is they has, have the 3.0 USB uh, side and you can just take it right out of your Bebop or Bebop 2 and stick it into the USB port on your computer and go ahead and pull up the file there's our Kingston and there's our files as you can see here uh, now there's a bunch of other files I'm not sure what these are um, I've deleted them in the past and it didn't affect anything so shouldn't be any trouble there let's go ahead and open up a file and see what we've got here ah, some nice footage from uh, our excursion at the beach so as you can see, the files have transferred to our OTG drive successfully. So no trouble there. That was a total of 6.92 gigabytes, by the way. Okay, so we're in the Free Flight Pro app. We're gonna go into our memory. We're gonna select all. And we're gonna go ahead and hit transfer and start our timer. Okay, so at this point, the OTG flash drive has already beaten the transfer uh, directly from the drone to the phone. So we're at 12 minutes, 20 some odd seconds, and only two of the four files have transferred thus far. Um, yeah, so uh, definitely faster. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so as you can see, we are over 20 minutes now and it is just now getting to the final file. Um, so yeah, I'm not doing this out in the field. I'm not waiting. It's probably gonna be close to a half an hour just to transfer. Now granted, this is a full uh, drive. It, it's completely full. I think it's 7.62 gigabytes. Um, so if you're not transferring a full drive, which I don't know why you, you wouldn't be transferring a full drive if you're trying to free up space, um, you're gonna be waiting a while. So definitely makes uh, getting that OTG flash drive more of a benefit. All right, so let's see how long it actually takes and I'll be back. It's around 44 minutes or so uh, that it takes to download a full uh, drive, uh, a full file of video and photos from the drone to your phone. That's a long time, y'all. I'm not doing that. <laughs> so I highly recommend getting yourself one of these OTG drive, flash drives. Go ahead and get those scripts uh, uploaded and everything. And uh, I think that'll improve your experience. Now, once again, I haven't had any trouble out of mine, but I guess what I'm trying to say is do this at your own risk. Um, and um, yeah, <laughs> so that's about it. Well, all right, everybody, that's the video. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, do me a favor and hit me with a like. If you would consider joining me in this YouTube journey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'd love to have you on board with me. 
And if you know anybody that might benefit from this, share it with them. I know there's a lot of guys out there looking to expand their memory of their uh, Parrot Bebops uh, 1 and 2. All right, and until next time, as we always say, be good to somebody and be good to yourself. God bless y'all. Later.